If you want to generate stunning AI images, you have come to the right place. There are plenty of AI image generators out there, but let's look at them and do a little tier list to crown the best, the king of them all. You should know that while there are plenty of companies acting as an AI image generator, most of them don't actually create the model behind it. For example, the app Leonardo AI is built on top of Stable Diffusion. They tweak the model to add functionality, user interface, and then sell it as a completely new product. We are mostly going to focus on the actual models, but we're also going to look at how to use them easily if they don't offer an app themselves. So let's jump right into it. Starting off with simple but nice OpenAI's Dolly 3. It's built right into ChatGPT. It's pretty convenient, fast, and also composition wise, very accurate. If you ask it for a dragon flying through a mall, you will get a dragon flying through the mall. The overall look is more on the artistic side though. If you're looking for hyperrealism, I wouldn't necessarily go with Dolly. The generated content is also very safe for work as they put high emphasis on security, because it's all eyes on OpenAI these days. But of course that also comes at a cost of flexibility. It's the same style, similar looking humans, even with very specific prompts, but good enough for many things. You also don't even need a ChatGPT subscription, as you can get a couple results per day completely for free. You can also use it for free using Microsoft's Bing Search, which all of us obviously use. Interestingly, OpenAI just released a new paper about a completely new approach to image generation called Simplified Consistency Models. This allows 50 times faster image generation than the typically used diffusion methods. So maybe this will become the successor of Dolly, but at this point I would have to give it a B tier. Being practical, but not astonishing. Moving on to the next one, which is Flux from Black Forest Labs. Flux delivers amazing results. They also just released Flux1 Tools, which is a suite of models designed for specific use cases. They add additional control to the AI image generation process. For example, Flux1 Fill allows users to do advanced in-painting and out-painting to edit real or AI-generated images. Flux has a lot of models, but the best one is Flux 1.1 Pro. Although some say it's Flux Dev, but the benchmarks say different. Regardless, both are very good, precisely following your instructions. You can use them in a Hugging Face space, for example, but Hugging Face has been slow recently, so I suggest you rather try out Replicate or Fell AI. Fine-tuned versions are also available, for example, on Replicate or Civit AI. So all over, it's more of a builder, techie focused model. There are some pages where you might get free credits as well to test it out, but in general, it costs money around four cents per generation on Replicate, for example. So on the tier list, Flux definitely deserves a strong A tier. It's one of the best models out there with a wide array of applications. If you're instead looking for a more streamlined onboarding though, you can head over to Midjourney. Most of my friends found their way into the AI image generation world using this tool. Midjourney originally started using Discord, but it now has a web interface as well. There's a nice explore tab as we can see, and the results are very good. More on the creative and artistic side mostly, if we look at this tab, but you can also achieve very realistic images. If you click on an image, you can see the parameters used and also the prompt, which makes it very easy to build on top of other creations. Since they emerged from Discord, its highly community-driven aspect is nice. There's also a chat section with different rooms. When it comes to pricing, no free tier is available, and it starts at $10 per month if you bill monthly, which I would suggest doing because you never know when the next competitor comes out. Their image editor is only available on the annual plans though. If you want fast hours, so faster image generation, you need to go for the standard plan at least. You can also do some surveys to get additional fast hours. I would give Midjourney a solid B tier, almost A tier for the ease of use, but the not so competitive pricing and sometimes slow loading times. Now following up with Ideogram, which is one of my personal favorites. It's very easy to use, gives you a couple of free credits per day and has very interesting customization options like a color palette, for example. It works extremely well with humans, text and logos and follows your prompts precisely. They also have a community feed where you can explore around. It offers different formats and looks that you can pick from. They recently introduced a canvas feature along with other editing options. They also offer background removal, image to text, upscaling, you name it. 
It's really packed with features and some which are locked behind the paywall with paid plans starting at only $8 per month. I use Ideogram as a basis to generate video podcasts with my personal AI podcast video generator called Revlin, which you can check out here if you like. On the tier list, I would say it goes on a solid A. Ease of use meets image excellence. Moving on to another highly customizable contender and that is Stable Diffusion 3.5, which is their newest model. Stable Diffusion is open sourced, so many builders use it to build applications, for example, using Comfy UI. But if you want to straight up use it, you can also do that with a stable assistant directly on the Stable Diffusion website, which is a chatbot-like application with a variety of different features. For example, search and replace, zoom out, or replace background. It also comes with audio and video production, although these examples are always slightly cherry-picked. The price starts at $9 per month. Overall, some might say Stability AI fell a bit off, but it's a fairly good model with a big builder ecosystem. And for that matter, it goes on the B tier on the verge to an A. Next one is Recraft, a fairly new model in the space and formerly known as Red Panda. Their website features a special workplace editor that might be a bit different from the other ones you've seen. You can create an image, a frame, an image set or a mockup and everything is clickable. For example, if you click on this image here, the prompt comes up here. It's really more of a board where you can let your creativity flow and you might need a bit of time to get used to this. You have various style options besides the raw model, of course. You can use reference images, color palettes, and the usual suspects. Performs very well with text and gives probably some of the most realistic human images I've seen. They have a free tier and the paid plan starts at $12 monthly. I would put it in the S tier, but since I would like to build some anticipation here and there's still an S tier coming, let's make it a very good A tier. Moving on to Imagine or Imogen, which is directly built into Google's Gemini it's fast, it's reliable, and quality-wise, we should more compare it to something like Dolly. Quality isn't outstanding, but you can generate plenty of images for free. One thing that's a little bit annoying is the fact that Google is confusing about the pricing. I can add it to my Google One plan, and then there's also AI Premium plan or something. It took me like three searches to find out that Gemini Advanced is $21 per month, and that of course includes unlimited Imagine. So I just want to say it's there, it's a solid C tier, try it out if you use Google a lot. Next contender is Playground, which is also not the absolute beast in terms of quality, but they have a very simple template-based approach. If you enjoy simplicity and you just want to use AI for specific use cases, they might be worth a try, as they also have a well-designed mobile app for creation on the go. You can do logos, t-shirts, social media posts, mock-ups, backgrounds, etc. And the pricing is pretty competitive, with a free tier offering 15 images per hour and pro plans starting at $15 monthly. I would give it a B tier. Now you might ask yourself, is there still an S tier coming? And yes, this one may be it. Luma Photon. At least if we can trust their own large-scale double-blind evils. They are saying they're better than any other state-of-the-art model in composition, instruction following, aesthetic, and just overall stomp the competition. Now let's take a look at a few examples. These are of course amazing, but do they really represent reality? Since the model is very new and right now only accessible through the API and Replicate, cost for this model is 3 cents per image, which is very competitive. There are not so many examples out there, but in this Medium article by 302 AI, they tested it and the results were not necessarily that good. But let's be generous. Give them the benefit of the doubt, make them an S tier, but this S is definitely standing for sus and not necessarily superior. Now some honorable mentions that are also worth considering. Runway's image generator, especially if you're already using Runway for videos. And Amazon, which just released a couple new models. And one of them is Amazon Nova Canvas. You can check these out as well. Might be worth a try. And thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.